northbound as well. Well, summer has come and gone, and Mother Nature appears to have put the pedal to the metal, but is she adhering to the rules of the road? Beachville 17 Zachary Lashway joins us on laws of the road that some of us may not know a lot about. I'm interested in this story. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, if she doesn't slow down, <laughs> that woman's going to get a ticket. Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the both of you for that matter. Good morning, Jenny. Good, Good morning. morning to you at home. This morning we're talking about the rules of the road that some folks might not know about or just don't obey. This time of year is truly picturesque in the city of brotherly love. Just take a spin down Kelly Drive to see for yourself. From college students rowing on the Schuylkill River to Mother Nature biting the green leaves, changing their color to vibrant reds and yellows. But don't snap a photo while you're driving. That's against the law. Many people think that the law only prohibits cell phone use during driving. And people think that that means only when the car is moving. But the statute clearly states cell phone use is prohibited when operating a motor vehicle. Lawyer and legal analyst Alora Nano says there's a gray area there too. There are times that the car could be in park that you would still be considered to be operating a motor vehicle. What operating means is going to be up to a case-by-case -case basis. It's going to be up to what a judge said. But the, the standard by the law is pretty wide. You cannot operate a motor vehicle. Lieutenant Brian McKendry of the Gloucester Township Police Department says to date there has been 209 tickets issued for cell phone violations in 2015. While some people think it's legal to use their cell phones while stopped at a red light, it's not. Here's why. The law states you cannot use your phone while operating a motor vehicle, and that does include when you're stopped at a red light. McKendry says that does include texting. This is not a new law. This is just people somehow decided that no using a cell phone law meant that they could use it while the car was stopped. But that, that was never what the law said. Some very serious stuff. One recent study shows nine Americans die each day in motor vehicle crashes involving distracted driving, such as using a cell phone. Coming up in the next few minutes, we're going to talk about obstructed views. All right. Thank you, Zach. I saw that uh, It Can Wait campaign yes. about texting. Very so important. It is important stuff. Thank you very much for that report. Now let's take a look at some stories uh, making news. Now, throughout this the morning. Delaware Valley, we have laws on the books prohibiting items that could obstruct a driver's view. Peachel 17 Zachary Lashway is here with more on this. Good morning, Zach. And it's really interesting because you don't really think you're doing any damage. Right. I have a question for you. Did you remove the big fuzzy dice from your rear view mirror? I better, I better head out right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jen does not have big fuzzy dice hanging on her rear view mirror. But if you do at home, take them down. We're not just talking about big fuzzy dice either. This could be an easy pass, an air freshener, or even a graduation tassel. Alora Nanos, a lawyer out of New Jersey, says size does matter. It's not a call that the driver really gets to make. The driver doesn't get to say, well, I can see anyway, so it's no problem. It's going to be a call that a judge gets to make or a police officer at least preliminarily gets to make to say, that's too big, that's in the wrong place. And these are laws that, that when you look at the statute, it can be difficult to figure out really what's prohibited and what's allowed. According to the Gloucester Township Police Department, they have issued more than 188 tickets for obstructed views. Bottom line, don't hang anything from your rear view mirror if you don't have to, but if you do, such as an easy pass, put it behind the rear view mirror so it doesn't obstruct your view. Yeah, that's really interesting because you don't think anything's wrong. Great tip, Zach. Thank you. I know you'll be back in just a bit. Coming up, big news for the Philadelphia School District.